Hi everybody, I'm here with uh, CK Golding. Hey, hey, it looks like I thought it was moving. It, it, it probably will. So we're, we're using um, a Heinz tomato ketchup, or is it cat soup? <laughs> ketchup uh, bottle for stabilizing the, the phone here. We're sitting here at this restaurant. The Ale House. The Ale House, which I can't remember the name. Yep. It probably looks backwards there. Um, in Pacific Beach, you, you made an awesome film that's going viral called 61 Hugs that even some of our friends here in San Diego have heard about before you came here. So I've heard, which is a beautiful thing. Yeah. So I want to know. Go Seth. I want to know. What did you... What did you like about the uh, presentations and the films and everything at the film festival? I like the sense, I, I love the sense of community and I felt that very quickly. I felt a, a Friday before the festival started, which is the prelude when all the filmmakers and creators get together. I felt an affinity for these creators very quickly. Yeah, it, very was, quickly. it, was, it was an amazing, amazing last weekend. Um, I know I'm tired. Are you tired? No, not as such. Not more. I've not even really had jet lag, but I was saying to a few people, I generally have quite erratic sleep patterns and I sleep late anyway. No rush, whenever so, you're ready. So, thank you very thank you. much. So my, 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 the bill. So my body probably doesn't know any different. But no, I'm not, I'm not tired. There, there were, there were, because you packed in so much, it necessitated like a long day. On I each, did, didn't on I? Each, on each day, they were like, what? They were, you know, we technically started at 11. I mean, the, we, the official start yeah, was 10. Yeah, we had the registration then, mm -hmm. and then, but the first real program started at, at 11, and then we went on through until almost 9. Correct. In the evening, both days. Okay. Correct. That was a lot. There were long days, but they were but they were great. And were, like I said, you know, I feel like I've made, it's such a horrible cliche, but I feel like I've made new friends, great new friends, worthwhile, productive, and I love seeing them win. I love seeing, I love seeing Ross and Kimberly walk away with something. That was wonderful. Um, I, yeah, it, it was an amazing, it was an amazing experience. You also had a presentation yourself. Um, do you mean my certificate? Your, <laughs> um, your uh, sixty-one hugs film that we showcased there. Yes. Yeah. Was that the first time it showcased in the U.S.? It, it wasn't. That was the U.S. premiere. <laughs> Yeah. Don't sell yourself short, Susie Botello. Oh, well, that I was the know. U.S. premiere. Where else in the U.S. has screened it? Hmm. You're, you're, you're still clinging on to this belief that I'm a celebrity over here, aren't you? Yeah. No, because uh, I didn't really. So there were two. So there was Ross Perkins, hmm. right? Their film Madhouse. Mm -hmm. That was apparently our fir the first film festival was ours. Correct. Here in the U.S. Correct. And then yours too. I like being, you know, having. I think it's really cool to create a space where first. Oh, if that makes any sense, first things happen. Sure. You know, people. Sure. I mean, the, the first rocky step on, right? I mean, those guys have done well. Their first, their first submission gets a big fat award. Yeah. So those what guys are doing well. Start, right? Correct, and it's a cute, handsome little award too. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, it's heavy. They they needed to rent a, a truck to get it out of here. <laughs> so yeah, there's some there's some brass west heading its way over to. Australia. Right? Yeah. They probably had to pay for an extra ticket just in an extra seat. Maybe. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that makes sense. They were proud. Yeah. So the film festival, now that it's over, you know, we're already plotting the next one. I've already asked CK if he's going to come for the next one, you know. To which my answer was, I, if, if I have anything shot on my smartphone and I wish to begin the Goliath marketing campaign once again yeah which hopefully they'll get some insight to what i just said in the podcast right <laughs> fingers if crossed not, if not it's, it'll just be suspenseful we'll have to write yeah. about it someday yeah something. but yeah I, w I would delight in coming back you know um ck you always are recording right you're always recording video pretty much I'm not right now, oddly. No, obviously now it's me. Because you're propping your phone on my phone, so that renders yeah. it <laughs> yeah, that's unavailable. It's at a little higher level than the table because yeah. we're using his phone as a, as a base. You, you should see our film, filmmaking tools, a bottle of ketchup and a phone case. Didn't even ask permission. That's right. No, we didn't. I, I did not, did I? Outrageous. <laughs> um, 
but you were we were talking earlier um so you, people open up to you and, and share stories with you okay and they feel comfortable with you um you ever think about maybe becoming um like a web series host yeah i have thought about that yeah uh, yeah yeah i mean but, that, but, but I think about a lot of things, Susie, <laughs> constantly, and this is, this is a blessing and a curse. And what I mean by that is, at any given time, I have three fully formed concepts, like 61 Hugs. There's three different versions, not 61 Hugs specifically, but three different projects of that scale and texture and type in my head. And that's a blessing for me because I've never struggled for ideas but by the same token it's like sometimes I just like some quiet time in there so um, what you're saying about a web series that is in amongst them for sure well I would encourage you to do that for sure and then you can come back to the film festival with your own web series ah, sure, yeah. sure sure and teach other people how to do that have any web series in particular that you're into that you think I should check out um actually there are a lot of web series out there. There are more than people realize. Even shot with mobile phones. Um, By web series, do you mean like a classic guest post and talking? That I think kind of you thing, should or? do that, yes. Okay. okay. I, th I think you would be perfect for that. And having people share their stories yeah. you know, with you. Because you bring things out of people. And people are willing to share things about themselves. That they could, again, with the word inspire. But sure, it, could, sure. it could really help other people sure yeah and, I'm, and i appreciate that thank you that's a nice observation i mean the, the the web series that ticks all the boxes you just alluded to that i really love at the minute is one called if anybody wishes to find it on twitter off camera show i always i always recommend that show it's exactly that um presented by sam jones you can, uh, i don't know if he's based in la but photographer and he also recently added well not recently but he added directing to his repertoire and he sits down with actors and comedians I and think I've seen that off camera is wonderful and I, you know something like that would be would be marvelous so thank you yeah it's like a it's it's really neat to finally because you know I met you online through Twitter and everything Correct. like that yeah. and we've emailed and, and things like that but it's it's really good to connect with people in the online world which a lot of people don't think is real you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it, it could be anything, and, and that's true. It's something to be aware of. But sure. I, I haven't had an issue with that yet, and it, and it sure is, I think, really inspiring to people to know that you can meet people online and then bring them into their physical form, mm. <laughs> into your space, mm. and to share to share the film festival with you was a it was a really big deal for me. Mm -hmm. uh, to share it with everybody, sure. but for you to see what I was trying to explain to you, what it would be like, mm -hmm. you know, was mm -hmm. it was it what you expected or? I don't. I'm trying to think if I had. I didn't necessarily. I'm trying to think if I had any expectations or assumptions. I don't think I really did. I think because there's enough. There's enough, um, there's enough photography from your previous ceremonies. Yeah. There's enough podcast content of you. Really? There's enough. Um, we had lots of. We spoke lots via yeah. email, on the phone, and on Skype, etc. Um, so I think I, th I think I kind of had a fair. I think it was pretty much. What you expect? Yeah. And with you the came anyway. With the ex <laughs> it, the only thing, the things I wasn't expecting were nicer than I could have hoped for. As in the location, you know, I love Marina Village, yeah. where you staged it. I thought it not that I thought it was going to be in a shabby room. I just didn't know what to expect. I don't know where you normally have them. So I, the lo I genuinely adored the location, but I didn't know that's why you've had it for the last three years either. Yeah. I, I didn't realize that that was your third year there. But I, I, I thought the big props to the Marina Village humans. Love that venue. I'll make sure I we I post some more photos of that online. Yeah. I, you yeah. know of the location. You know to attract more people to that. Oh, you want? Yeah, I mean that. I think that is very wise for you to do that. Yeah. Because you know, you know, it's like people. What's it like? Where is it? I think you, that's probably a trick you've maybe not exploited to its full potential yet in terms of the setting. It's true, and and I think what happens what happens in my world, right? 
um, and it happens to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You get used mm -hmm. to yep, what you having see. to, yeah, from your perspective, mm -hmm. and it and it gets hard to say, well, I'm just Joe Smo, correct? You know, and what am I gonna? What would I experience? Or I mean, I, I bring up San Diego, and I just assume that people know what San Diego is like. <laughs> but unfortunately, San Diego has a lot of um, yeah. There's a lot of texture here. There's a lot of Correct. different areas that have different looks and I, different feels. I honestly, so I know, it, I know it would have for me. I know it would have for me. I think if you, maybe Aaron, or maybe one of your. Um, sponsors who has access to the gimbals and stuff. Right. I think if you, I honest to God, think if in the prelude to 2020 you get some really nice gimbal footage of the marina. Yeah. That that I, you, you know how I said in our podcast that there were many reasons for me not to. That would have right. been that, that might have even equalised it. You know, because yeah, I'm right. that kind of guy that loves scenes and settings. Um, and I, I honestly think that'd be a huge maybe, persuader. Maybe we should make a challenge like that, yeah. you know, to say to anyone who's already got a gimbal and mm -hmm. things like that, mm -hmm. and say, hey, you know, we'll promote you Absolutely. if you give us the right footage, and um, it might be a local thing, you know, and get more local people involved mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. That's an idea that just stemmed out of uh, this I mean, even, I mean, because the marina is, the marina and the boats. Yeah aren't as close to the screening room as the actual complex and the complex right. itself is beautiful it's like sitting right green... on the edge of it it's yeah, it, yeah. Is, it is right on the edge of it but what i mean is you leave the screening room of the mobile festival and you just see beauty before your eyes yes. i love i love this i love i love it and i just think like a 60 second tour of the yeah. whole area would would just add an enormity to the whole branding yeah maybe we'll also have to talk maybe that could be the first real campaign that we do with our, our new partners at Free Vision, you know, as well, that, yeah. you know, with the gimbals. Yeah, I genuinely, and, and I think it's keep it snappy, under 60 seconds, yeah. for a oh, yeah, cool, cool tour, yeah. that would be such a huge, and then, you know, drop in the footage that Aaron took me of the actual inside and what was going on. So. Oh yeah, definitely. Awesome, well, awesome standalone for the scene stuff, but yeah, I'm excited to see that next year. Yeah, well... We're going to cut this off because we're already going into almost Submissions in June. Am I allowed to say that? June 19, yeah. Submit to Mobile Film Festival, the International Mobile Film Festival, the first ever smartphone film festival on an international scale. I'm her new sales director. Submit June 19. You want to be my new sales director? <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> Pay me in tater tots. Right? <laughs> Submit. I'll I, ship her. <laughs> yeah, I exist. <laughs> Definitely submit the the, the um, yeah the, the the team spirit was just glorious. It really was. I, I'm I was touched. I'm still trying to get over it. I, and I would also just for purposes of visibility, I'd also like to send some love to Nathan of yes. the Indiana Mobile Film Network. Yes. Yeah. Well, Indiana Filmmakers Network, right? Filmmakers Network. And, and I want to just make a public. Um, Thank you to him because the way he engaged with all of the filmmakers after the screening was just glorious. And I said it to his face, but I want to say it now. Thank yeah. you, thank you, mate. Thank you very much. And thank you. Let's do a quick shout out to all the sponsors. So there was Swords and Circuitry Studios in Uncharted Regions with Neil and Jaina Hoffer. There was Red Giant, Film Convert, Black Box Global. There was uh, Group and Shoot. And then there was the Hall Age Show podcast uh, with Aaron and Alex and then there was the Star Wars steampunk universe which had the most it that red carpet that that was, that was such a big show that was a so, hoot yeah it was so all right peace out everybody. and thank you photographer people oh yeah Dean Curry and um, and Art Bas Arturo Vasquez they were they were great who am I missing oh uh, the judge Anthony Montes Yep. And all the filmmakers, of course. Who am I missing now? I think that's it. Yeah? That's all right. I'm with, so. Sounds good. If I missed anybody, it's because we have nothing in front of us. <laughs> this is all on the fly. True. <laughs> all right. Peace out. See you next year. Bye-bye.